photosynthesis. Now before we get into photosynthesis, let's start with the structure of the chloroplast. Now the chloroplast has a double membrane. Then this gel-like substance in the middle is called the stroma. This is a thylakoid. A stack of thylakoids is called a granum. And many of them are grana. They kind of look like cheeseburgers. But anyway, between the grana we have a stretched thylakoid called a lamella. And we also have a grain of starch in the chloroplast. Okay, now photosynthesis happens according to this equation. Carbon dioxide reacts with water to form glucose and oxygen. However, this happens in two stages. So, let's move this little guy to the left. The first stage is known as the light dependent stage. It happens in the thylakoid membranes. Water comes in and with the help of sunlight, oxygen is produced and we also create ATP and NADPH. NADPH is a coenzyme and we'll talk more about this later. Then the next stage is known as the light independent stage, also known as the Kelvin cycle. It happens in the stroma, which is the jelly bit in the middle of the chloroplast. Here we have a cycle in which carbon dioxide enters and mixes with ATP and NADPH to create glucose and other sugars. And these get stored in the chloroplast. In this video, we're going to be focusing on the light dependent stage. So let's zoom into here and see what happens. So this green line is going to represent a thylakoid membrane, meaning underneath it is inside the thylakoid and above it is the stroma. This membrane is studded with membrane bound proteins. These proteins are special because they also have a photosynthetic pigment called chlorophyll. That means each of these is known as a photosystem. For reference, we have PS2 on the left, photosystem 2, and PS1 on the right. In between them, we have another protein, however, this one doesn't have a chlorophyll. So therefore, we can just call it an electron carrier. Together, these two photosystems and the electron carrier make a electron transport chain. We also have ATP synthase, which is an enzyme and an ion channel in one. This is also bound within the membrane. Now, the goal of this stage is to create ATP and NADPH so that they can move on to the second stage. So let's see how they're made. First of all, light energy coming from the sun is going to be absorbed by chlorophyll. In particular, it's going to be absorbed by the electrons inside chlorophyll. The electrons gain energy and move to a higher energy level. The chlorophyll loses electrons and becomes positively charged. Next, the electron moves to the electron carrier. The carrier uses the energy that the electron has to pump hydrogen ions from the stroma into the thylakoid. Now that we have a high concentration of hydrogen ions inside the thylakoid, they're going to try to diffuse back out down their concentration gradient. However, because they're ions, they're going to need an ion channel. So this is where ATP synthase comes in. The hydrogen ions are going to pass through the ATP synthase ion channel. At the same time, the movement of hydrogen ions through the channel will drive the process of combining ADP and inorganic phosphate to form ATP. So if those hydrogen ions did not go through the channel, we would not be able to make ATP. So we've made one of our products. Let's see how the next ones are made. The electron moves on to the next photosystem, PS1. Once again, it gets hit by light energy and gets excited. However, this time we don't have an electron carrier for it to go to. So a molecule of NADP comes along 
grabs an electron and a hydrogen ion to form NADPH, also known as reduced NADP. And we've made our second product. Before we finish off, let's quickly look at this first chlorophyll. Technically, it has lost an electron, which is now part of NADP. So therefore, we can say that it has been oxidized. In other words, lost an electron. This electron needs to be replaced. And this is where water comes in. Water is hit by light and breaks down into hydrogen ions, oxygen and electrons. This process is called photolysis. The electrons go to the chlorophyll to replace the lost electrons. Oxygen is released as a byproduct. This is why plants produce oxygen so that we can use it for respiration. In other words, the oxygen that we breathe into our body came from water. Water got broken down by light inside the plant which produced oxygen. And finally, we've also produced some hydrogen ions. They're not really going to do anything special, so we'll leave them for now. Okay, so we've spoken about the light dependent stage, but what about if we have questions like this, this, this one, or even this? Notice they're all big five or six mark questions. But what's common is that all of these questions are essentially asking the same thing. Describe the light dependent process. Now, although they're asking the same thing, we know from biology mark schemes that even if you put down five points, there's always going to be one that you're going to miss out. So I've taken these questions and summarized what you have to say if they ask you to describe the light dependent process. So here we go. Number one, chlorophyll absorbs light energy. Number two, this excites the electrons. Number three, the electrons move along the electron transport chain in the thylakoid membrane in a series of redox reactions. In other words, things are gaining and losing electrons throughout this whole process. Number five, energy is used to combine ADP with inorganic phosphate to form ATP. It's crucial that you say inorganic phosphate or put a P with an I next to it. Number six, Photolysis of water produces hydrogen ions, electrons, and oxygen. And finally, NADP is reduced by gaining electrons and hydrogen ions to form NADPH. There are seven points here. However, it's crucial that you mention all of these in order to make sure that you don't miss out any marks. Hey guys. If that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.